Here is an example of Vasitis nodosa. Vasitis nodosa is a benign proliferation of ductules causing nodular enlargement of the vas deferens and the nodules may be as large as one centimeter in diameter. The condition is usually associated with surgery, typically vasectomy or trauma, but occasionally the condition may be idiopathic with no known cause. And what happens is there is rupture of the epithelium of the lumen of the vas deferens causing release of sperm into soft tissues. Vasitis nodosa is characterised by chronic inflammation and fibrosis of the vas deferens. The muscle is hyperplastic and sperm are often seen in the proliferating ductules. In addition, sperm granulomas may be seen. Histologically, the proliferating ductules have a microacinate appearance that resembles prostatic carcinoma. They are, of course, completely benign, but to make matters even more confusing, perineural and vascular invasion can sometimes be seen. This is a cross-section of a normal vas deferens. And here is a cross-section of vasitis nodosa. At the bottom left of the picture is the lumen of the vas deferens. And as we move towards the top right, there is some fibrosis, a little chronic inflammation. And you can see proliferating ductules that have rather pale cytoplasm and a microasna appearance bearing some resemblance to microasna prostatic adenocarcinoma. But reassuringly, at a high magnification, you can clearly see sperm present in the lumen of some of the ductules. And finally, this is another area of the nodule of vasitis nodosa. You can see the fibrosis, chronic inflammation, and we are zooming in towards a sperm granuloma at the periphery of the nodule.